hi, this weekend I watched Pablo Larraín's latest film, El Conde, a satirical black comedy horror from Chile. Uh, I was very impressed by Larraín's previous film, uh, Spencer, about Princess Diana. So I was interested to come to this and see what he was going to make of another major late 20th century historical figure. Um, it's about General Augusto Pinochet, the dictator of Chile, who perpetrated a reign of terror during the 70s and 80s. But it suggests that rather than having died, Pinochet faked his death because he is, in fact, a 250-year-old vampire, now living in seclusion somewhere near Santiago, where his children assemble because he has now decided that he wants to die. Um, the film is narrated by Margaret Thatcher, played by Stella Gore, who played the Queen and Spencer, and uh, a relationship between the two of them is revealed later in the film, which I won't go into. But the narration is very much along the lines of Pinochet being a great man, being mistreated by history, who has selflessly campaigned against um, revolutionaries and socialism and communism, ignoring the fact that he was a ruthless mass murderer. The film has a great central concept, the idea of Pinochet being a vampire and uh, existing for centuries to uh, prevent uh, popular revolutions and socialism and to entrench power in the uh, hands of the uh, rich elites, uh, so to speak. Having witnessed the uh, French Revolution and seen his beloved Louis XVI overthrown, but it doesn't really do anything beyond that. It has uh, an unusual palette. It's filmed entirely in, in black and white, uh, apart from the opening titles, which are in pink. Um, it's uh, it, it's hard to talk about because there's there's really very little else to it. There's some vampire mythology added in about the importance of uh, eating liquidized human hearts and all this sort of thing. But once it gets beyond the central concept, it's really quite a dull story. The humour isn't particularly funny. I think it's very important to communicate uh, what Pinochet did and discuss his history, clearly, particularly uh, Margaret Thatcher and the British government's complicity in his uh, reign of terror and mass murder. But the film, other than lecturing its audience on things which, depending on whether or not they're Chilean, they may or may not already know. I don't think it has a great deal more to it beyond that. It doesn't have any of the uh, humanity and uh, empathy that Spencer had uh, and which impressed me so much. It doesn't have the, the atmosphere that that film had or anything close to that in terms of strength. So I found it really quite disappointing. Um, as a horror film, it's it's not scary, although it's not really intended to be. But as a comedy, it's not particularly funny. It works really more as a, a one-line joke or a sketch attached to a lengthy history lesson. And although the history lesson is one that's worth hearing, it's perhaps one better delivered through a less stylized and half-hearted medium.